if you can listen and just tell us if this mirrors the, the uh, state's exhibit 471Y, what you wrote, okay? Young money, motherfucker, other side. They can fuck with us if they won't. I bring them home aside. Words to my... That's it. That's okay. it. Okay. So, still, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't feel like still put in, like, an A-plus effort. I don't really feel like it was an A effort because, honestly, we just... We don't know if the jury believes the jury, pardon me. The jury believes this or not. So the clip I'm about to play is essentially still talking about it all, but it wasn't like how remember when Shark got that A plus because he was like, This person doesn't exist, this person doesn't exist. Still didn't have any of those moments, so I can't give him an A plus because it didn't connect kind of thing. It just more so sounds like he's trying to convince us with him. And I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't think Quindary Zachary is a person that could do it. So A minus A because essentially he was able to get out that Doug and then had nobody killed. Check it out. Time that you are, as you said, locked up. That means in jail, right? Yes. By that time in 2015, tell the jurors since that time your interactions with Jeffrey Williams. Since I've been in prison? Since 2015, you made bond one time, right? You got out, then you were rearrested, right? I ain't saw him again. I can't hear you. Not I haven't seen him since. So since 2015, approximately, we're talking about April. Is that true? The first time you got locked up, then May. you made bond? May. May, sorry. To this day, you had zero, zero means no, communication with Jeffrey Williams. Is that true? I mean, I've been locked up the whole, I just got out with last year, year before last. Okay, so the year before last. So now, do you ever have communication with Jeffrey? No. While in custody, do you ever have communication with Jeffrey? No. Did he pay for your lawyer? No. Did he pay for any bond? No. He didn't, he didn't contact you, right? No, and I didn't contact him. Right. Because your relationship with Jeffrey wasn't this, he's the gang leader, right? No, it was never that. And you told that to the authorities, right? Yes. And... When Kenneth Copeland is telling you about, and you know about, crimes he's doing, that's not at the behest. That's a bad word. That's not to your knowledge because Jeffrey Williams asked him to, right? Objection. That's speculation, and that would be just speculation. <laughs> to your knowledge, has Jeffrey Williams ever, ever asked anyone to shoot up a home? No. To your knowledge and information, tell the jurors if you have any information, did Jeffrey Williams ever tell anyone to murder someone? I would have told him he ain't get he wouldn't like that. He ain't get involved and stuff like that. To your knowledge, did Jeffrey Williams even know about the killing of Donovan Thomas until it was broadcast afterwards? Afterwards. He knew afterwards. I can't hear you. Afterwards. Afterwards. What else? I hope you said. And you were asked by the lawyer Love, and if you don't remember, just say I don't remember the question. But you were asked how whether whether Jeffrey Williams acted normal after the learning about the death of Donovan Thomas. Do you remember that question at all? Yes, I remember that. Okay, I want to talk to you about that. You saw Jeffrey Williams at his Sky House condo um, late, later in the evening of January 10th, 2015, going into the early morning hours, maybe better, January 11th, 2015, true? Like early morning, like... Okay, yeah. so it's the next day. Yeah, like four, five in the morning, something like that. Okay, so it's Sunday, and if you don't remember the date, just I don't remember. Sunday, January 11th, 2015, right? I don't know exactly what day it was. All right. And you knew it was already discussed and you were going. You knew that Jeffrey Williams was performing in uh, the state of Florida. That's the only reason I ended up there because everybody was getting ready to go. And the position is people who wanted to go to watch him perform met at his house and they go in vans to the state of Florida. Isn't that true? Yes. That was all prearranged, right? Yes. There's none of this. Let's get sprinter vans immediately to get to get out of town, right? No, I don't think you get a sprinter van that late at night. You probably had already a book it or something. Okay, well, don't speculate, but but you know that you had to be there at a certain time to leave, right? Yeah, I think I got there at four or five. We left like five six, so yeah. Okay. Now, Jeffrey wasn't at his Sky House condo the whole time you were there, isn't that true? No, he wasn't. He left, right? Yeah, he had already left before us or something like that. Okay. And he left with his sister, Dora. Do you, do you know who Dora is? And if you don't, just say I don't know who it is. Yeah, I'm, I went to school with her. You went to school with Dora? Yeah. Okay. And Jeffrey had already gone, and people remained in his Sky House condominium 
to go to Florida, right? It is. Now, did Jeffrey, when you said you acted normal, tell the jury whether you told the police this on August 5, 2015, and March 3, 2017, that Jeffrey was concerned and questioned why would someone kill Nut? Do you remember that? I told him that. I can't hear you. Uh, yes. That's true, right? Yes. Because Jeffrey was friends with Donovan Thomas, right? For my not, yeah. No matter what you were doing, no matter what Demeke and Garlington were doing, no matter what Kenneth Copeland was doing, Jeffrey still performed with Rich Homie Kwan going into January 2015. You know that, right? Yeah. You saw Jeffrey and Rich Homie Kwan together if you were there. Were you in Florida? Let me ask this first. Forget what I said. Were you in Florida going into New Year's of 2015? So it's December 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st of 2014, striking into New Year, January 1, 2015. Do you remember if you were in Florida? I don't, I don't remember exactly like it. Okay. Okay. But you saw, you saw in Florida, Jeffrey and Rich Homie Kwan together, right? Yeah, they had, um, and they had like three couple shows back to back in Florida. And you went to them, right? I went like one or two. All right. And this is after the, God forbid, the killing of Mr. Thomas, true? Yes. And from your observation, Rich Homie Kwan and Jeffrey, although it may be sad, they were getting along, right? I mean, I told them everything was still like normal. Like. No matter what was going on, with you or other people and, and drive-by shootings that had nothing to do with Jeffrey from your vantage point. Is that true? No. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. How many other people do you know, do you personally know, um, have the notoriety, that's a bad word, are as well known as Jeffrey Williams? Objection, relevance, sustained. How many people from your neighborhood besides Jeffrey are well-known musical artists like him? No. Now, I want to talk to you about um, a performer known as Dwayne Carter. He performs by Lil Wayne, okay? Yes. You know his music? Some of it. Do you like his music? Yeah. All right. From your observation, does Jeffrey like his music? Objection, speculation, foundation. Overruled. He love it. I can't hear you. He love it. Jeffrey loves Lil Wayne's music. Is that yes. what you said? Okay. And you knew this back in 2009 when you met Jeffrey, or 2008, whatever the year is. True? Yeah, yeah. Is it, do you know what the word idolize? Do you know what that word means? Like look up something? Yeah. Like that. yeah. Is that some, how you would describe Jeffrey with Lil Wayne? More definitely. All right. Now, you were asked um, by the detectives on August 5, 2015, as well as by the DA's office and the detectives on March 3rd, 2017, about the shooting of the tour bus of Lil Wayne. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. All right. Do you have any information that Jeffrey Williams knew that that tour bus would be shot before it was shot? No. Do you have any information that Jeffrey ordered, asked for? If I'm losing you with my word, just say I'm confusing you. I'm not trying to. Um, the shooting of that uh, bus? No. Do you have any information that Jeffrey was fond of, was, was happy that that bus got shot? No. In fact, Jeffrey was the opposite, right? Objection. Speculation. Sustained. Do you know if Jeffrey was upset that that happened? Objection, Your Honor. It would still be speculation. Sustained. I want to talk with you about, remember Lawyer Love asked you questions about free Roscoe? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. And Roscoe, do you know his given name, Jimmy Winfrey? Do I don't you know, know his real name. I can't hear you. I don't know his real name. All right. I'm going to call him Roscoe for now. You know, you know who I'm talking about? Yes. And you told the jurors that you're aware that he pled guilty. Do you remember that? Yes. All right. Now, do you remember speaking with law enforcement, specifically Detective Dennis, Detective Gaither, about the Lil Wayne tour bus shooting on August 5, 2015? Yeah, I remember. I can't hear you. Yes, I remember. Okay. And... Is it true that you told them that you didn't think that Roscoe did the shooting? Yes. And is it true that Detective Dennis immediately told you that he agrees? Yes. And that's on the recording of August 5, 2015. It might be on August, uh, March 3rd, 2017 as well, but it's on the recording, right? I guess. Okay. 
but it was discussed during your recorded interviews with the police, right? Yeah. And do you remember explaining? Your Honor, I think we need to approach before Mr. Steele gets into this line of questioning. And bro, I wish I was in there today because what she's talking about, oh my goodness. Miss Love, you are a lying person, lying ass love. Because if y'all recall, before we play this clip, Miss Love tried to sit up here and say, oh, hey, we don't know anything about anything. As far as we know, Brian Steele and Max Sharp uh, they're cool with Quindere Zachary and his dad. So you might want to ask them about what the hell is going on. And we couldn't figure it out for nothing. We were like, what the hell is she talking about? What is she talking about? Bruh, what do you mean? And then the phone call dropped. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to the part about the phone call. And I think this is the most important part. And this is why I'm calling Miss Love a liar. Miss Love knew exactly why the hell that man said what he said about his son because the whole world see essentially what happened to Woody. And he said, I'm going to tell Matt Sharp. I'm going to tell uh, Sharp. I'm going to tell Sharp. I'm going to tell uh, Brian Steele because he basically like, oh, y'all doing something illegal. See, she never put out the part where, oh, they were accusing us of doing something illegal. So he figured he could just reach out to a lawyer and all of this stuff. So check this part out here. Hey, 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 you, you, you got something looking for us, bro? You got something you looking for us? Who is this? I know you don't have a warrant, but it's a finished fire, so you got a warrant or something you looking for us, bro? Who is this? You know what you're doing is illegal, right? Who is this? It's Mr. Zachary. I got Quindarian right here on the phone. Okay. I want to know what's your problem, sir. Listen to me, Mr. Zachary. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, Mr. Zachary. Listen to me. 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 Listen to Call whoever you like. Call, call whoever you like, sir. Call whoever you like. Call whoever you like, sir. I asked your son where would he like to meet. He asked me if I was in Augusta. I told him he knew I was in Augusta. So, okay, you got so, one, okay. so, so where we meet now, bro? You tell me where you like to meet at, sir. So then where, the, where, we meet? Where, where, where do we meet now, bro? Sir, I'm not going to talk to you. I'll talk to your son. I'm yeah. right there. He lives in there. Okay. All right. So where would you like to meet, Mrs. Zachary? You got one person. I have a warrant for your arrest. For what? Yeah, how you going to have a warrant for somebody in the hospital? Sir. How you going to have a warrant for somebody being in the hospital? Sir. Who can I see? Who is your supervisor? I, I am the supervisor. Not, may I please, may I please know who your supervisor is, sir? Sir. Are you? Is your son yeah, willing you to know, meet? Military, are your son? You know, are your son? You, know you can't deny me. Are your son? You know you can't deny me. Mr. Zachary. Mr. Zachary. You know you can't deny me. Mr. Zachary. Okay. So I just take it. So I get. 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 You can violate the law. Okay. So Mr. Zachary. So Mr. Zachary. So Mr. Zachary. You know you can't Please let your son know. I have a warrant for his arrest. I have a warrant for his arrest. Is your son unwilling to meet with you? Is your son unwilling to meet with you? 
do you want to know? We'll turn ourselves in. We come to okay. the county jail. Uh, we come in court. We'll be in court Monday or we'll come to the Florida county jail. Go we to the Florida county jail. Authority. Do you want to go to? No you ain't got to even go that far. Do you want to go to the no. Richmond County Jail? Do you want to go to the no, North Richmond County Sheriff's Office? No, we going to the Florida County Jail. Are we coming to court? Do you want to go to the Richmond County Sheriff's Office? No, we don't. You aren't willing to do that. Okay, hey, real good. Hey, listen. real good. Hey, listen. Thank, you, Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 I'll object to the point you made. That puts absolutely no one in a good light. Don't know why uh, anybody would want to play that, but then, and I didn't, I didn't record. I didn't. I, I meant to record it, but I didn't. We're not just gonna call the Miss Lion Love, but cussing ass love too, bruh. She didn't call Rich Homie Quan a bitch. She didn't call. She didn't say they didn't cut that nigga nut down bad. You don't believe me? And I'm gonna use this horrible name and word because that's what you said. Didn't you tell the police that in March 2015, Thug called this gentleman, Rich Homie Kwan, he used the name Bitch Homie Kwan, on stage in public to talk about Rich Homie Kwan? I never heard him say that. Not that's something I just heard. Like, I never heard him say it. Why did I tell him that? I don't know. I'm just asking you, did I get it right? You did say that, right, to police. Yeah. Williams' relationship with Rich Homie Quine by Thug's lawyer. Did you hear Thug call Rich Homie Quine a bitch on any other day besides the time you told police about in March? Did I hear it myself? Yes, on any other day. No, I told you I think I heard it, but like somebody. And when did you first start hearing, either from yourself or someone else, thugs say disparaging or bad things about Rich Homie Kwan? I didn't even hear that. I don't, I don't be hearing it. Like, I've been locked up all this time. Like, okay. So, I've been away from these folk. Like, I don't remember nothing. I've been locked up eight years. Like, But you weren't locked up in March of 2015, right? I was sick in March of 15. We just said that earlier. You, Shannon and Yak, told you, I just caught that in nut down bad. Did you get that from Copeland, Garlington, your prelim, or somewhere else? A lot. Okay. And when you told the police that Shannon, Yak, Nard, and Duop were going to be Bushy on the night that Donovan Thomas was murdered. Was that something that you got from Copeland? Did you get it from Copeland, Garlington, your prelim, or somewhere else that on the way to meet Bushy, they fucked up and saw nuts? Who'd you get that from? I don't remember. I, some, I ain't probably get it from nobody. I don't remember. You think that was something you made up? Probably. Objection, Your Honor. This is all beyond cross. Ju Judge, I... They, thank you. Now, when you told the police that after they fucked up and saw Nut, they rolled back around and started shooting at Nut, did you get that from Copeland... Garlington, the prelim, or somewhere else. Oh, Moody, staying on the couch, acting worried. Nard said that that nigga Woody gonna fold. He gonna tell on us about that nut situation. Is that something you got from Copeland, Garlington, your prelim, or somewhere else? Somewhere like that. Okay. So when it boils down to the case of Miss Love, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. D minus or D. Her whole entire spiel was, let me try to get back some retribution. Let me try to spray it some BS. Let me catch you up in line. And she didn't even put out what I said she should have. 
she missed the whole point about basically, hey, this cat said that he had a gun, but he said that little Woody stole the gun. That didn't even happen. So now she didn't put that out. And I'm like, bro, it was right there on the plate. She bringing up irrelevant stuff. So once again, another squandered opportunity. And the judge is ready for, for Quindale Zachary to go home. She's ready for little D to go home. He was happy as hell. He's like, I can get this taken off my leg. Bro, I've never been on ankle monitor, but um, I'm pretty sure that's a hell of a feeling. So he got the ankle monitor off. He back home and, and all that stuff. I wish little buddy well, but it don't seem like from how he was acting, he just seemed like a coddled kid, bro. Like he just seemed like an entitled, spoiled ass brat. Like I'm just going to keep it authentic with you. His whole demeanor, everything about him just screamed out condescending. And I personally, I ain't like it. Just keep it authentic with you. I just, I didn't like nothing about his testimony. He clearly told on niggas. He clearly lied a couple times. And Miss Love did catch his ass and was like, well, you said this about this, but that actually did happen. And she was talking about when Woody got jumped at Club Crucial. She's like, you told the officers about this? And that ended up being true. So you keep on saying I'm lying. I caught you with that lie. That's why I didn't give her an F because she has some valid points. But once again, Miss Love keeps on messing it up. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, you still got other YSL members that's supposed to pop out and, and, and you know, do their thing, thing. And we're going to see how that goes because I honestly, unless there's somebody that I'm not knowing and y'all can point it out in the comments, that's supposed to say more or was supposed to be more beneficial for the state versus all these cats. I personally, I just don't see it. I'm going to be fair. Now, like I said, there could be other members and stuff like that. You still got the Duke testimony that's supposed to pop out. But even Miss Love said it. He was on the phone basically talking about girls. So I think she's going to try to probably introduce some shit. But all he got to do is say exactly what he put on the paper. YSL is not a gang. So there you go. I say why I sell in a gang. I did this shit on my own. You don't really have anything. And I'm pretty sure uh, Brian Steele or whomever, when they cross when they cross them, they're going to bring up that plea deal. And it's going to look bad for the state. But share to keep your people aware. Subscribe, turn the bell, stay notified. And I will catch you in the next one. We are 6000 away from that $1,000 giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed today. We will get there sooner than later. I'm hoping we get there by like October because I, you know, I got to pay rent soon. So, hey, if you don't subscribe today, you want to subscribe in three weeks, that's cool. But I'm a man of my word. So we're going to see. And if you're wondering like, bro, so how are you going to do the $1,000 giveaway? Just like we did the uh, PlayStation giveaway. We'll get the people who qualified and who won. We'll do a live stream. We'll put their names in a hat. And we're going to jumble it up because I don't want nobody on some BS like, oh, no, you select him because you knew him. No, y'all can click on those comments and y'all can see over 100 comments and whatever and it'll say public subscriber. So that's basically ultimately it. And if you decide to say, oh, that's how I can win $1,000, just go comment on 100 videos. I'm not telling you you should, but I'm telling you like this. It's going to help. <laughs>